Uh, Fox Company was uh, dug in here in the defense positions and uh, it was a pretty nice day and everything was pretty quiet and um, the Germans were dug in not too far from this position and it seemed like it was pretty quiet. There wasn't any much activity going on that day and um, I, was, uh, I was on the mortar position and there was a <coughs> A deep valley behind us, mm -hmm. down behind us, and um, there was a road down there, and I saw a um, jeep driving up through the valley, coming up in toward a, in our area, and the jeep stopped there, and a, and a soldier came up the hill, up toward me, or toward our where our fog company had dug in, and I was watching him come up, and I was just wondering what he was coming up for. Mm -hmm. And he got up close to me and he was really quite nervous. He, he was <laughs> in a hurry. And he said uh, to, to me, do you want your picture taken? And I, and I said, well, yeah, that would be, that'd be okay. Yeah, they take my picture. But he, the mortar was facing the other direction. And he asked me, he didn't want to get up and to take a picture of me in the, in the high in the position of He didn't want to expose himself at all. Yeah. As, as you can see in the background, we were dug in pretty. But the bank behind us was just enough to fire the mortar over it. Uh -huh. And uh, he said, "Can you swing that thing around and face it the other direction, backward?" And I said, "Well, yeah, I can do that." So I took the mortar and I swung it around and I faced it backwards. And then he took the picture and uh, and he said, uh, uh, where are you from? I said, Minnesota, what's your hometown? I said, Montevideo, Minnesota. Do you have a paper there? And I said, yes. He said, what's the paper? It's um, um, Montevideo American is the uh -huh. name of the paper. And he said, what's your parents' address there? And I said, uh, Row Route 5, Montevideo, Minnesota. And uh -huh. he was just messed down and around and he asked, what's your name? And I said, it was, uh, my name is Bertie Gilbertson. Uh -huh. And he wrote this down real quick. And then he, then he was done and, I, and the machine gun was dug in right next to us. Uh -huh. And we didn't see it here. And uh, there didn't happen to be anybody on the machine gun at that time. I was alone, the both of them were next to each other. So I said, uh, do you want a picture of the machine gun too? And, th and that was exposed a little bit more over the brow of the hill. I said, why don't you go up and take a picture of me? No, no, no. He <laughs> said, I don't want any more pictures, he said. <laughs> and so then he, told, he said, I'll send, I'll send it to your home paper, he said. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know if he said, thank you or not. He took off down the hill again as uh -huh. fast as he could. Now watch him. He got a jeep and took off. He wasn't there very long. <laughs> so I thought to myself. I just wonder if he will actually send that picture. Uh -huh. And uh, so I sort of forgot about it. And uh, then it was quite a while later when I got the letter from my parents. And mm -hmm. they said, my dad, oh, he said, we got such a nice picture of you with this mortar gun. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, that'd be nice to see, yeah. Uh, we got the type, and he said, it, it's in the... Um, window of the office on display at the Montevideo American uh -huh. and they called us and they said that um, we're going to leave it here on display for a while and then you can come and then you can have it. Uh -huh. So um, he actually did send the picture. So yeah. that's how I happened to get my picture taken. Uh -huh. And it was rarely that you saw photography even at all. Yeah. That's the first one I'd ever seen close was an army photographer. Uh -huh. They, you know, they, so they how much didn't come how, up with the infantry much. How much later do you think you fired your mortar after he left? Yeah, I don't know. I think that we, right after that, we went in reserve when we were supposed, that was a story, mm -hmm. another story, we were supposed to go in reserve right from here, and I think it was right afterwards, uh -huh. for three days, F companies, can they pull us off? Well, that's when uh, we pulled off in the evening and they gave us a good meal and we said, oh, we're going to be in reserve for the back 
from behind the line for a ways. Uh -huh. Well, that the evening that they came up and told us, all oh, you guys right home, we're jumping off at 0500 in the morning. And we didn't expect that. And that was when that big push uh -huh. into Germany to drive the, the drive toward the Rhine. That was a big jump off. Uh -huh. And that's probably why we were in defense position while they're waiting for this. Yeah. But the rumor was that we we're going to be in reserve for three days. Yeah. Well, it lasted. We just pulled back that day, and it was one night. The next morning, we jumped off again at five five o'clock. Yeah. So they that that was at about the same time as that story. Do you remember where what close to what town that was? Do you remember? Where that picture was taken? Where it was taken? Yeah. Do you remember what town it was close to? Oh, uh, I, I, what I it can't says, remember. What it's, it, because I don't have... There was a little town down there. We could see it from our little uh -huh. village down in the valley, but uh -huh. it was, we didn't, we weren't, I don't think we were in that. We were uh -huh. away from it. Uh, I think the guy that kept track of the towns, I think he was on pass during that time. Because he didn't have what town you were in. The guy that kept track of the, the towns. Yeah. And because I don't have the town that you were in, I mean, we could look it up and see that about that. Uh.